So I want to do something a little bit different today. Uh, this is by far the most common question that we get here at Freedom Formula. I probably get asked this every single day. Is Amazon FBA saturated or is it too late to start selling on Amazon and be successful in 2018, 2019? Inside the course, you know, this is a little bit different because inside our course, Amazon Secrets 3, we answer this in detail. We have a full module on this and how you can use Amazon's growth to your advantage. And what I want to do is I want to show you the very first lecture uh, inside this, which will answer this question for you and give you that confidence to start your Amazon FBA business. So I'm going to pass this back to about six month younger Benji when he recorded this lecture and he's going to walk you through exactly why Amazon is definitely not saturated. Hope you enjoy it. Amazon is now worth one trillion dollars. More opportunity than ever. For we are projecting 250k. All of a sudden, the sales just came flooding in, and I just hit ten thousand dollars in 15 days. And I'm like calling the mom, mom, it worked. It's gonna be huge for you because this really busts through the myth that a lot of people are out there asking the question that's on people's minds, is Amazon saturated? Is it too late? Did you have to get in in 2009 or 2010, 2011? The really, really, really early days where in fact no one actually made money back then. Um, they did get a good solid footing in the market for right now when they have a few reviews, but right now is the best and the easiest time to get started on Amazon because of a lot of advancements in Amazon's platform. They make it a lot easier for sellers, a lot easier to get your stock in. All this stuff has been improved it's so much easier to start a business now than it was way back then. It's also much, much more opportune because there are so many more people on Amazon. So in this video, I'm gonna bust through that myth. I'm gonna get you to understand how big of an opportunity this is right now um, and how lucky we are to have this opportunity. So let's, let's just dive straight on in. I wanna start with some numbers. So if I can reset the zoom on this page really quickly. This is CNN Money uh, with a profile on Amazon. You can see down here, this is reported sales by Amazon. So they go through the years, 2013, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Uh, these two are projected. 2017 has not uh, been updated yet, even though it is 2018 already. And then 2018 is updated. But have a look at this. 2013, um, they did $75 billion in sales. Amazon alone did $75 billion in sales. Billion with a B. And because a billion is so far out of the, uh, from out of mine and out of the normal person's like vernacular, I want to show you, tell you what the difference between a million and a billion dollars in the form of seconds. So uh, you may have heard this already, but it's a very common thing uh, in trying to understand the concept of how much a billion is. If you have a million seconds, how many days do you think that is? So you can try and answer in your head for one million seconds. So give it, a, give it a crack. It's 12 days. So if you wait a million seconds, you're going to be waiting 12 days. The difference between a million and a billion, how long is a billion seconds? So, I mean, if you know a million is 12 days, you can do some quick math um, to try and get how many days uh, a billion is. So if you can have a guess for a billion seconds, how long that is in days or years or months or... A billion seconds is actually 31 years from 12 days to 31 years, and they did $75 billion in 2013. So they're huge, there's a ridiculous amount of sales coming through, and you only need a tiny, 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 you need 1% of 1% of sales to be a multi-millionaire on Amazon. Um, 2014, you can see the growth here. 2015, they're growing, growing, growing. They're reinvesting all their profits. They're getting bigger and bigger. 2016, they went up to $135 billion in sales. 2017, they are projected to do $178 billion. So they added an extra $40 billion in one year. And 2018, they project to do $236 billion in sales. So look at this growth. 2019 is going to be even bigger. 2020, there's such a big untapped market that they're growing into. They're, not, they're nowhere near their full size. They're a mere 5% of what their full size could be in the USA, which is crazy to think about. Uh, and this just really puts you in perspective why it is day one and why there's so much money to be made and how you, you literally need a, a percent of a percent of a percent and you'll be making more than the average salary uh, in the USA. So I hope this I hope this really helps. What I also wanted to do is 
represent um, how much potential Amazon has to grow still. So I got two things here, online and in store, the two ways that people buy things uh, in the modern day. So as you can tell by these cool little red shopping bags, nine out of 10 current purchases are made in store. In 2017, nine out of 10 transactions in the USA were made in store and only one was made online. Now of this one sale out of the 10, Amazon own 45% of all sales online. Out of all online stores, all websites, anything, anything that was purchased or paid for online, Amazon own 45% of that. Uh, that's, so I think that's physical products and so not digital products or anything. But of physical products bought online, Amazon own 45%, which is insane. They crush every competition. So they own almost half of all online sales. Now, by the year 2025, it's projected to go past two sales every single day um, being made online compared to in-store. So this is a ratio. Uh, so it's about to double. Uh, online sales as a whole are about to double, which means Amazon's projections uh, back here will also double because they own 45% of the market and growing. That's been growing too. It's gone up from something like 27% a couple of years ago. So Amazon may go on to own 60, 70, 80% of this market. Now just think long-term, think over the next 10 years, how everyone's going, how online it makes it so much easier to shop. This could very well get up to five, 50% of purchases or 60% of purchases. And remember that Amazon have solidified their spot right now. They are by far the biggest online giant and they're going to be getting 50% of all these purchases online. So this is what I say when Amazon is just one to 5% as big as they potentially could be because all this potential, all this buying power um, is all still going into the store. And now there's new people coming up, there's younger kids coming up who are starting to shop on Amazon, there's more people buying. Amazon are going to be doing ridiculous amounts of money um, every single year, and there's so much potential for you to uh, capture these sales because I wanted to show you a an example. I launched the Scratch Map transparently with everybody um, on YouTube. If you haven't seen that, definitely go check that out. It's a 45 day challenge where I showed you how to launch this map right here, um, which is still pretty new. It's number one new release right now. We're doing really well. We got a great bestseller rank. Uh, that was a super fun series. You can see we're dipping back down. We're running out of stock a little bit, so we're trying to maintain this rank, and then we're gonna try and dip back down once stock comes back in. Uh, we've got 7,600 bestseller rank. Um, but what I'm trying to say is this scratch map market was considered saturated. What everyone thinks Amazon is saturated, this scratch map was considered saturated. And the reason they think that, and the big misconception is they don't know how to market. They don't have the materials you're watching right now. If you're a member of this course, huge congratulations because the people on the outside don't understand these, these concepts and therefore they are, if you have a look down here, there's 35 pages of scratch maps that just don't sell. If we go to page six out of 35, uh, you can see these are all still the same uh, scratch maps. Well, we're on page one after 20 days by applying these strategies. If I pull up that sales rank data, you can see they're not doing any money. This is revenue, this isn't profit. Um, so someone even doing something like 2,200 revenue is probably less than $1,000 profit. And they've got to hold on to all this stock, which is more than $1,000 in costs. Uh, so if we go to page 13, you can see all these people, it's just a graveyard of unsuccessful products. And these are the people who are saying Amazon is saturated because these are the people who don't know how to market and they don't have the skill or the experience. Look at this, a million bestseller rank making no money. No one's making any money. And this is why Scratch Maps are saturated and this is why Amazon is saturated is because people don't know what they're actually doing on Amazon. So if you're inside this course and if you're willing to take action, I wanna introduce you to uh, something we're gonna go over in this little bonus module, which is called Hunting the Slowest Gazelle. So I'm gonna give you a quick sneak peek here and then we're gonna go through a few crucial things then we're gonna gonna explain you this concept in detail because uh, it's very, very important because a lot of people think you need to be the best selling product in the entire um, in the entire category or in the entire product niche uh, in order to make great money. But that is so far from true. If we pull up Scratch Maps, which it's January, so it's the slowest month for it, um, you can see our product's 6,600 at the moment, but again, we're, we're slowed down because we're out of stock. People are doing 60,000, 39,000, 27,000. 
you don't need to be doing, especially if this is your first product and you're learning the ropes, you don't need to beat the person who's doing $60,000. If you are coming sixth in the niche, let's have a look, one, two, three, four, five, six, you'd be doing what we're, basically what we're doing. Where are we? Oh, we're down here. So a lot of people are doing about $7,000. You'd be doing about $2,000 profit if you're coming sixth. And this is the slowest time of the year. Let's go over to Garlic Press. This is a common... Um, commonly researched niche. Definitely don't get into it because there's a lot of people in here. But you don't have to be the number one garlic press. And I'll show you how to identify the slowest gazelle, which means the gazelle, uh, the gazelle is the listing. So it's it's a metaphor for like, if you're a lion, you don't need to hunt down the fastest, most, at, most athletic gazelle in the pack in order to have a delicious meal or in order to have a successful product. You only need to take the weakest link um, and target them and take their sales. So have a look at this, one, two, three, four, five, six. If you're coming sixth in garlic press, you're still going to be making $13,000 a month. And this is a great example because have a look at this. They only have 12 reviews. They only have a seven out of 10 listing quality score. So this person right here, if we had a better listing, we could have better photos. Let's see where they are, which on Kitchen Gizmo. So they got pretty good photos. Um, but they'll be, they're under-optimized in a few ways and I'll be able to teach you how to figure that out and how to improve on their product and make a better offer for them. Um, they only have 12 reviews and they're doing 13,000. So they're pretty new product. You don't need to beat the person who's doing $100,000 in garlic press. All we need to do is beat Kitchen Gizmo with their 12 reviews and their under-optimized listing and we're going to be making a lot of money. So even if there is a niche with a lot of people making a lot of money and a lot of reviews, there's still always going to be room for you because there's going to be a weak link there. And if you can come up and replace that weak link, then you can take the next step and go go to the go from the sixth place to fifth. Then you figure out how to get to the fourth, third, second, first. You introduce a new product and you have first and second. Um, so it's it's a skill that I'm going to teach you. But the main thing I want you to take away, and it would be huge if you have this mindset. And I think necessary for in order you be in order for you to be successful to have this mindset is that Amazon is far from saturated. It's such a huge opportunity right now and you can do it if you take action. So I hope you've come to that conclusion uh, yourself. I hope I've helped you get there. Let's go into the second video and I'm gonna show you something else very cool.